Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Alex the Car Guy. And normally I do a lot of review videos, but I thought I'd start making some commentary videos to supplement them and to kind of also share some of the things that I see changing in the industry, some of the things that uh, some brands are going through, upcoming technologies, or little interesting things like this. I took my car for service, and this was last year, and I saved all the footage from the dash cam that it was loaded on there and i thought it was interesting to see the reaction of the toyota technicians to the mirror dash cam that i had installed so far but when you look at the video there's a couple of interesting things first off we can see that the camera does provide us a really really good picture of what happens behind the scenes when you take your car in for service that's the first thing that it does for us the other huge advantage of a dash cam in this particular case is had there been any issues such as let's say the car got in return damage to me we probably would have had a good record of what happened potentially even who was driving it the other thing that we see on this video it, it almost seems like they almost uh, it doesn't, I can't tell if it sounds like they did hit the car or not. You hear a thud and I'll mark the video timestamp so you can see it where it almost sounds like, whoops, I hit something or I bumped into something. Maybe it was just a tire because as far as I could tell, when I looked at the video, I immediately inspected my car and I could not see anything wrong with it. Uh, but let me show you the video and then I'll come back and tell you a couple more of uh, my thoughts and I want to know your thoughts as well. Hey Justin, I'm sure you've seen uh, rear view mirrors with cameras, right? Rear view mirrors with cameras? But have you ever seen anything like this? It's a camera the whole entire time. And yeah, if you... The RAV4s have it. Yeah. Wait, the RAV4s have it? This is... You said the RAV4s have it? Yeah. Like, that's stock? Yeah. What? Dude. Uh, oh, yeah. That This is stock? Yeah. On a RAV. But probably not this car. On this one, no. That's aftermarket. Yeah, because all this. But it's yeah. like this on a RAV. Mm -hmm. The new one? The mm -hmm. 2021s and 20? Six. How come I've never seen that? It's pretty sick. Uh, I've never seen that. Some of, it's like the, the XLE. The high, the, basically, it's like the top end RAV. Not the Adventure one. I've never seen that. Oh, wait, no. The Adventure one does have it. Yeah, let's check it out. I okay. thought that was cool. I'm like, but I can't see it, but then I... So as you saw, the technicians were pretty impressed. They actually even thought it was stock. Now this mirror that I had installed at that point is the normal standard LCD mirrors that I review, which is the strap mechanism. I know a lot of people are like, straps, why can't it be direct mount? Doesn't that look ugly or doesn't that look tacked on? And it really doesn't, it really blends in. So you can see that these techs are almost thinking that it's part of the car and part of the reason is that some new cars do come with these mirrors now and toyota is offering this type of mirrors already from the factory especially on the higher end trim models uh, one of the technicians is able to detect that the mirror the mirror is aftermarket uh, but it's still very you can see that these guys are driving the, uh, all kinds of toyota vehicles and they were very impressed with the performance of the mirror where it, it looks om and it performs like an om quality mirror so that was kind of interesting the other interesting thing too and, and this is particularly of interest to people who work on cars or even to people who don't work on cars but are curious what happens when you take your car to the dealer the car had to go in for a 15,000 mile service 15,000 mile service and they tell you come back in several hours sometimes it takes a whole day now they do have to queue the car and get a technician available before they can touch your car but once they actually did as you can see in the time stamp of the video you can see that they got the car in on the lift uh 1027 and they are done at 1040. so you're talking a total of 13 minutes they worked on the car before it was poured back on the lock 13 minutes now i do have the service manual for the toyota corolla and i want to just show you what the 15,000 mile check should look like they have to check that the mats the floor mats are correctly installed they have to check the wipers they have to rotate the tires they have to visually inspect all the brakes so you're talking four wheels they have to inspect the brakes the drums uh, and the pads for wear 
they have to check and inspect and adjust all the fluid levels. In a car, you have a lot of fluid levels. You have the engine oil, you have coolant, you have power steering fluid, windshield washer fluid, you got transmission fluid. You, you got a lot of fluids that you gotta uh, top off. So checking all of those, I'm counting, so that's a lot of checks in 13 minutes, but it doesn't end there. They also have to inspect all the ball joints. They have to check all the dust covers. They have to check the brake lines and the hoses. They have to inspect the cabin filter. They have to check the dry shaft boots. They have to check that the pipes and mountings are, are not leaking. The radiator condenser, so you're talking to hoses. A lot of these things are visual checks, which can happen very quickly, but some not so easy. The steering gear, steering leakage boots. A lot of these things require that you either take off the tire or you take off panels to be able to inspect it. Uh, specifically, if you're looking at the steering gear, it's a little hard to see what's inside of there. So ch just changing tires alone, rotating tires will probably take about five minutes. So you're telling me that they did all of the rest of the checks in about eight minutes? That's not even one minute per check. Could it be done? I think by one person, no. I really think it's highly likely that a person, one person can do all of these checks on this checklist in 30 minutes. Could it be done with a two-man team? I think that's probably what could happen. You could have one person rotating the tires while the other person is going around running like crazy, checking fluids and stuff. Probably not very safe, and probably how well can you check something just by taking a quick glance at it? But hey, you know what? Here's the thing. Uh, Toyota includes the maintenance for these brand new cars for about the first, you know, let's say two years, which is about 20, uh, 30, I believe 36,000 miles. They include the oil changes and visual inspection. So in a way it's free. So you're not paying for it. I don't take my car to the dealer outside of the free services that they cover. I service my own car, you know, to waste an entire day just to get somebody to do an oil change. I'd rather do it myself. But I thought it was interesting. What do you guys think could, do you guys think that it is possible they did all of these checks in 13 minutes? Uh, what do you guys think about that little tut? Did it sound like they did hit something or not? And I also wanted to point out that this is not a criticism at all of the workers of that are working at Toyota. You know, if you have a job, you're an honest worker. I mean, you're there because you, you, you know, you. <laughs> you're not out there doing bad things. You're, you're working. People who are hard workers like them allow us to keep our cars on the road. So my praise to them because they're working in a not, it's not an air conditioned environment. It, it's a loud environment. It's a dirty environment. If you don't like working, it getting dirty, you're not gonna like working on cars. You get cut, you get bruises, and people tell me, my, why my hands so hard? That's just what happens when you work on cars. So my props to them. I think my intro, you know, I'm kind of curious, is about how they plan to service a car that fast, safely, not only for them as mechanics, but also to ensure that it is being checked. So when you go on a road trip and you take your car to get tuned up, you know that they checked everything that they should have because a lot of these things, if you miss something, you can potentially send a car that's potentially dangerous on the road and you're like saying, yeah, it's good to go when maybe it could have been detected that it really wasn't good to go. So hey, anyways, if you guys like this kind of videos, format let me know like i said i'll try to do a couple more commentary videos every once in a while and also show you a little bit of the dash cams and how they can be used outside of just a plain review what i which is what i normally do in a real life work environment so thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you on the next one